In this video, I'm covering how to transfer files from mobile to desktop. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this video right until the end so the full steps. Without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. I'm now on my mobile phone and just a quick note, this guide is going to work for pretty much all types of mobile phones as well as computers as well, including Mac and Windows, so let's go and continue with this video. The first thing we need to go and do is decide which file or photo or video we want to go and transfer to our computer. So to do that, I'm going to go and do a photo and a file. So let's go and open up my files up in my phone. Most phones will have a file. This is the image I want to go and send, it's actually a document and I want to go and get it onto my computer. I've also got a photo as well in my photos, I want to go and transfer this as well. So to do this I recommend going into your phone's app store and once you're here all you want to do is go and search for something called Google Drive. Now this is available in pretty much all phone app stores so go and search for Drive just like so and it should come up. You may have to add Google just like this, go and search for it and then it's going to be the one right at the top, Google Drive. So all you need to do is go and download it. What Google Drive is, is basically a cloud storage area. So we can go and upload files and images from our phone onto our Google Drive and then we can go and access this from our computer and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So you can click open just like so and here we are. Because Google Drive is owned by Google, to go and use it you're either going to have to go and create a Google account or you can go and sign in with an existing one. I'm already signed in so let's go and continue. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and click on the plus button just here and I recommend going and creating a brand new folder. So I'll click on folder just like so and I'm going to go and name this data transfer just like so. A folder is really useful because we can go and keep track of what we're transferring. So go and click create just like so. And a quick note as well, Google Drive comes around 15 gigabytes of free storage which is really good as well. So go and click on data transfer just like so. The next step we need to go and do is go and upload our file or video or photo into this folder. So to do that you can go and click the plus button in the bottom right or you can just go and locate the file or photo manually as well. So go into your files, here is mine. All you need to do is come and find the share button. On iPhones, it's got the square with an arrow coming out of it in the bottom left, but it may be a different location for you. Then all you need to do is scroll across here until you can go and see Drive. As you can see here, mine is, I'm gonna go and click on Drive, and then it's gonna go and open it up. And as you can see, we can go and locate this. So I'm gonna go and click on My Drive, just like so, and then I'm gonna go and find the folder, which is Data Transfer, and then I'm gonna go and click on Save here. Then I'm gonna go and click Upload, just like so, and as you can see, it's going uploading it. So there we go, that's now uploaded. Now I want to go and add my photo as well. So either you could go and open up your photo albums or library just like this and upload it from here. Or you can go and open up the Drive app once again and then all you need to do is go and click on upload and then we'll go and click photos and videos and go and select the picture you want to go and upload, which is this one. So I'm gonna go and click on upload just like so and there we go. So then you, what you want to do is wait for this to finish just like so. If I go and refresh, as you can see, there is the PDF I also uploaded as well and the image. So now let's go and hop onto our computer. Here we are on my computer and as I previously mentioned this guide works on all types of computers including Windows, Mac and a ton more as well. So all you need to do is go and open up a search browser and then what you need to do is go and jump into the search browser just like so and you want to go and search for Google Drive. You can do this in any search engine as well. And the address will look something like drive.google.com. Then all you want to do is go and click on it. And what you need to go and do is, is make sure you sign on with the same Google account as you signed in on your mobile as otherwise it's going to be on different accounts and being on the same account is really important. Then once you're here, all you need to do is locate the folder. As you can see, folders, data transfer is the folder I made. So I'm going to go and double click on it. And here we go. Here are the files I uploaded. And then to go and download it, all you need to do is click on it and then right click on it. And you can go and click download just like so. It's going to go and scan for viruses and then go and start the download. And also you can go and download this whole folder as well. So if you want to go and download the whole folder, go and click on this downwards arrow and then go and click on download and it's going to go and zip the file and then it's going to go and download it. And that's literally it guys, it will go and zip it and download it all automatically. As you can see, it's already done it. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.